Hi, I'm Steve Hooper, and I'm running for Keene City Councilor in Ward 1. A little background on me before I get to the issues at hand. I'm 65 years old and have lived at 5 Colby Street in Keene for 27 years. I am married to Jackie Hooper, who works at Keene State, have a daughter, Althea, and a granddaughter, Brianne. I'm a professional photographer and videographer running Hooper Visuals. I am a photography instructor at Cheshire Academy for Lifelong Learning at Keene State College and worked as a photojournalist for 39 years, most recently at the Keene Sentinel, from which I retired three years ago. Organizations to which I have belonged are the American Red Cross, New Hampshire West Chapter, Board of Directors and Board Chair, Cheshire TV Board of Directors, Keene Trails Discussion Group, Rabbit Ear Films Executive Producer, and American Nurse at War Inc. Nonprofit Film Producer and Board President. I am running for Keene City Council because I think it is important for citizens to become involved in the community to try to make it a better place to live. Serving as a Keene City Council member is a great way to be part of the democratic process to promote positive change, and as a Ward 1 counselor, I will work hard to represent its residents in a fair and balanced way by listening closely to their concerns. I have leadership qualities having chaired a board of 15 people for three years at the New Hampshire West Chapter American Red Cross in Keene, and was honored with the Clara Barton Award for my leadership there. Therefore, I believe I can effectively be one of 15 counselors leading the city of Keene. Now to the issues. On taxes, yes, Keene taxes are too high. I will work to find a creative way to keep taxes at a reasonable rate and at the same time will strive for adequate services to be delivered to Keene citizens. State expenses thrown at New Hampshire cities such as retirement compensation are out of our control but spending needs to be cut to help lower the yearly increase in property taxes. Guess what? Folks on Social Security are not getting a raise this year. We are still in a recession in this part of the state. On the other side of the coin, for example, the city should continue to add revenue to improve the roads and streets. I would suggest that each city department look at ways to trim their budgets. Also, the city council should investigate other ways to generate revenues. There are several challenges directly affecting people in Ward 1. A, building a healthy relationship between the city and Keene State College through positive dialogue. I plan on becoming active in the Southeast Keene Neighborhood Group to work with Keene State College administration and students to make sure our neighborhoods in Ward 1 are safe. The College City Committee organized by Mayor Lane is a positive start to building a stronger college city relationship. B, Marlboro Street rezoning. I commend the Marlboro Street rezoning project ad hoc committee for their hard work. I will support their recommendations to the City of Keene Planning Department as revitalization of this area will improve the quality of life in Ward 1 and benefit the city as a whole. Specifically, I will support the committee's recommendation to address the flooding problem and to limit additional converted student housing from single-family homes to help modify population density. I would like to see parking problems addressed as well. C. Airport tree cutting. I will strive for a fair balance for the Ward 1 citizens living near the Keene Dillon Hopkins Airport and the safety needs for air traffic using the airport. If 100-foot tall trees are eventually cut to improve air safety, then monies need to be allocated to plant an equal number of 10 to 15 foot trees to replace them. Without this commitment by the city and other parties, there will not be an appropriate buffer zone for the residents near the airport. D, the proposed expansion of the historic district on Main Street. Preserving the historic look of Keene is important and I strongly support that, but not at the expense of potentially reaching into individual homeowners' pockets. I believe the Heritage Commission can achieve their goals by working with individual homeowners who I believe already have pride in how their historic houses look without a new ordinance. Plus, much of Main Street is part of Keene State College that is exempt from any ordinance enacted. This strikes me as unfair to the homeowners on Main Street 
to have to follow an ordinance when Keene State College does not. In conclusion, I ask for your vote on November 3rd. Thank you.